The Imam summons has been a call for individuals to recognize God and enter into a spiritual covenant with the Imam. This covenant involves the Imam guiding them spiritually towards the Gnosis of God in both this world and the next, as well as helping to safeguard their material well-being. Those who respond to the Imam's summons become part of the Imam's spiritual family, and they also play a role in calling and inviting others to recognize the Imam. In the pre-modern period of Ismaili history, the execution of the Imam summons was carried out through a formal esoteric teaching institution known as the Ismaili Dua. This institution consisted of a hierarchy of spiritual teachers and scholars who worked under the guidance of the Imam of the time. The hierarchy included ranks such as Bab, Huja, Dai, Madun Akbar, Madun Isker, and Mustajib. It is important to note that the Ismaili Dua hierarchy is based on esoteric knowledge and gnosis rather than material wealth or political power. The concept of ranks of knowledge is mentioned in the Holy Quran, which states that God raises and ranks whom he pleases and that God encompasses all things in knowledge. The seven Dua ranks, known as the Hudud al Din in Ismaili terminology, are compared to the seven heavens and seven earths mentioned in the Quran. Each rank is like a heaven for the rank immediately below it, and like an earth for the rank immediately above it. These ranks have existed and been active in every age and time, both before and after Prophet Muhammad. Prophets of the past received spiritual training and initiation into prophethood from the dignitaries of the Dua. Highest rank in the Ismaili Dua and receives divine inspiration and guidance from the spiritual world through the Holy Spirit. While Prophet Muhammad was the last human being to receive and convey divine inspiration as prophetic discourse, the Imams of his al albayt continue to receive the Holy Spirit through which they convey God's guidance in the form of spiritual interpretation and instruction. God summons humanity to recognize him through the person of the Imam in every time and age, as mentioned in the Holy Quran. In conclusion, the Ismaili Dua is a rich and intricate spiritual tradition that has existed throughout history, with a hierarchy of ranks that are based on esoteric knowledge and gnosis. The Imam of the time holds the highest rank and continues to guide and inspire his followers through the Holy Spirit. As they strive to recognize God and fulfill their role in calling and inviting others to the recognition of the Imam.